can't be. Aloy! Oh, your timing couldn't be better. Over here! Aloy! Wait! I need to talk with you! Aloy, oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air, or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Morland's amazing elevating orb, inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk use for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except? We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents, one such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy, it's perfect for the orb, but a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it, please? Okay, Moreland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> Missy! Hope I didn't miss too much last night. No, that's not her. Can't be. Hmm. You can Remedies machine, and brews right? to make life easier. Apparently, you're not the only one. But you probably knew that. You can ride machines, right? Apparently, you're not the only Anyone one. Anyone looking to play a game or... will break my fall.
This looks like the place. No burrowers, though. And that must be the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. to get to the upper level. Maybe I can find something to stay. Event. <laughs> There's a crate in that room. This could be useful. Okay, gotta get higher up to reach the statue.
Now to get the burner. I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Burrowers. Might have been the ones that attacked Moreland. Stop, Moreland's amazing elevating orb.
about a game of machine strike, Outla? I got nothing to tell you. Oh, I hear this place is open for business, thanks to you, That's not true. <laughs> Washed off some of the sweat. You're back! Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly just majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Yes, yes. Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? What was that? Nah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, time to give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed, we're powered by hot air, just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah. The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violent and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, oh, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. Within simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. You know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started his work songs in forges around the claim. Ah ha ha ha, just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> This feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What was that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Moreland! Oh, oh. <laughs> that's just a small setback. Nothing to... Worry about. I can fix this. I can fix it. I can. Uh, grinding caskets. It's gonna hit us. Go, shoo! Good. Morland, 
He's in danger. I have to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. Moreland's stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines. Can always count on a pack of scrappers to carve up any salvage. <laughs> Okay, that's the last one. Better check on Moreland. Hold on, Moreland! I'll get you out! Aloy! Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? If this is payback for a hey, suboptimal flight, right? I have... Oh, oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... It's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. Did you have any idea what hit us? I, mean, I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. I'll keep some extra on hand. Oh. Aloy, would you mind finding a way across? All we need is something to bridge the gap. I 
think I found us a bridge. Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, uh, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Could use acid against it. I gotta keep an eye on the sky with the stormbirds here. Okay? Hey, come partner. That's awesome quality firepower, huh?
Oh, I can definitely find a use for this. Glad you decided to come back. Let's roll, shall we? I think you were Hey, Lloyd. Uh, it's over dead. here. When you have a moment, steal to my soul. Sorry, had to go deal with something. You were talking about something before I left. Steel to my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me, or really fancied my orb. Found it. <laughs> ah, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb, something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, May your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland. if I could coat the orb in blaze without it being completely consumed by flame. Oh, now that would be eye-catching. I can't believe Boomer would do this. Any idea why she would head to the Arches? Probably just wanted to get as far away from me as possible. During the fight, I... Snapped at her. Said some things I shouldn't catch have. a break from this. Things you didn't really mean. Yeah. You know, back in the claim, she'd get into all kinds of trouble. Dad always said it was my job to look out for her. We'll find her, Della. I'm fading forage. I hope so. Take to the skies and see the world from a whole new perspective in my amazing elevating orb. Improved for your comfort and safety. I see you have a new orb ready to go. It looks, uh, assembled. Yes, yes, as promised. <laughs> it's a veteran of numerous test flights by yours truly. All successes, no interruptions in the air. No issues at all? How did you do it? A complete top to bottom reimagining of the orb with an eye toward the ultimate in comfort and reliable air travel. And a stronger tether. Two this time, you know, in case one breaks. Smart. And safe. Peace of mind is included with every ascent and descent. I guarantee. What do you say? Word got around about our last adventure. Having you go up with me again would, you know, encourage the more skittish in the crowd. Maybe later. I'm sure you'll have plenty of other customers soon. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I was hoping we would fly again, but... Hey, you're always welcome back, Aloy. Anytime. An improved, amazing, elevating orb. Oh, see the world from spectacular heights. Aloy! 
Have you reconsidered my offer of another trip into the sky? Just up and down? Okay, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, as this fine, upstanding Nora and I take flight before your very eyes, let us ascend. Aloy, I swear you are my lucky charm. Oh, I've made a number of modifications to the orb. Reinforced joists. Ooh, double stitch fabric. Custom plating. Oh, and cushions. Great gears, Aloy. The world beneath us. It's so grand. Ancient city from up here, it's so vast. Imagine all the people who came here in its heyday. You know, it occurs to me I should have written a manual for flying this contraption. You know, we should have uniforms for flying. Something eye-catching, but tasteful. Hmm, you know what would be good for long airborne excursions? Food and beverage service. And chairs. You would not believe the amount of work songs the Osram have about steam. I wonder if... Mm, no, no, there has to be a weight limit. Besides, how would you get the machine to stay still? Wow, you could really lose something if you dropped it from up here. Mmm, thirsty. So, how many kegs could this orb hold? Mmm, this orb could revolutionize parcel delivery, faster communications with overnight shipments. No animals, though. Oh, I could turn this into an airborne hoteling. Ah, uh, wait, no. What about the plumbing issue? Huh. Years of Osram medical theory were wrong. I made it into the air and my lungs didn't collapse. Ah, oh, I wish my granddad could have seen Take to the skies and see the world from a whole new perspective in my amazing elevating orb. Improved for your comfort and...